Friends, welcome to lecture number two, that is Kumbhala and Selenium Environmental Setup in Intellectual IDEA. So, in this particular lecture, you will learn how to download various tools required to do the automation testing with Selenium and Cucumber. So, at the first, you will need the JDK. So, go ahead and uh, download the JDK on this particular URL. You can find the JDK. There are three uh, download button JDK, JRE, and uh, server JRE and JRE. So, you have to click on this JDK download and it will take you to the page where you can download the JDK or you can download it from right here. That is the latest version of the JDK. So, you can download that and install it on your system. So, that is the very basic or important uh, thing th that you need to start with the Selenium and Cucumber. Then you will also need the build management tools like Maven or Gradle. So both the tools do the same thing but in different ways. So you can take any of these. In this particular course we will be using Maven. So go ahead and uh, download this Maven from this particular URL. Maven.apache.org.downloads.cgi Over there you will find the zip files if you are installing on the windows or you can find the tar.gz files and that can be used on the Linux systems. So go ahead and download and install those particular. Then you will also need the IntelliJ IDEA. This is the most popular IDE to develop the Java applications. So go ahead and uh, download the appropriate version of the IntelliJ. Like uh, right now uh, it is showing the Windows edition. And there are two editions basically Community and Ultimate. Uh, community edition is the free one. So you can go ahead and download that one. But for commercial purposes, you will have to use the Ultimate Edition. And if you are developing on different operating systems, a Mac OS or Linux, you can click on those particular buttons and download appropriate version for your system. So that is another tool that you need. And once you download IntelliJ, you can uh, also download the plugins or install the plugins within IntelliJ, like Gherkin. You need these plugins, Gherkin and Cucumber for Java. So in the next lecture, you will learn how to install, uh, download and install these plugins within IntelliJ. Then uh, to work with the Selenium, you will need the drivers or the exe files for each browser. So for example, if you want to automate the Chrome browser, you will need the Chrome driver.exe file on the Windows. And if you go to this URL, there you will find the different versions of the Chrome driver. Here you can, uh, this 2.27 is the latest one, if you open that. You can notice that date is 2016 that is the latest chrome driver for the chrome browser so you can go ahead and download these particular uh, drivers depending upon your operating system like mac windows linux etc similarly there are different uh, drivers for a different browser so over here on this url you can get the internet explorer driver over here you can get the gecko driver which is required for the latest version of the firefox here you can get the Microsoft Edge driver, like Microsoft Edge, the Edge is the latest browser by Microsoft and they have got different web driver for that particular browser. Similarly for the Safari driver, you will need the, there is no application file for that, but there is an extension which you need to download and install in your Safari browser. And uh, finally, you also need the PhantomJS a driver to run the rest in PhantomJS. So you can go ahead and download that and install that PhantomJS in your system. You will also need some external dependent libraries like uh, you will need the Selenium library, selenium Java. this is the artifact ID. So just note down the dependencies that you need. This is the group ID, artifact ID and version 3.0.1. So this is the latest version when I recorded this video. but this versions keep on changing so keep an eye on that particular versions and you can get those particular latest versions on the selenimhq.org website and you also need to download the JUnit library because we will be writing tests in JUnit to work with the Cucumber uh, and write the steps in the like Java language you need this particular Cucumber Java library so group ID is info.cux and this is the version but you can look for the latest version and there are two libraries or library files one is cucumber shower and cucumber shower 8 so both do the same thing but uh, the only difference is that this cucumber java is actually without lambda so lambda expressions were added in the uh, latest jdk's or uh, so if you want to develop or the write the steps using the lambda expressions you will have to use this particular dependency cucumber-java8 and if you 
are not comparable with writing the lambda expression you can stick to this particular artifact id or the dependencies cucumber or java and to integrate the cucumber and j unit you will need this particular dependency in the maven project cucumber or j unit so in the next lecture you will be learning how to update your pom file to include these dependencies and how to create a simple maven project to work with selenium and cucumber so stay tuned for the next lecture